Hello, my name is Data. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. I got a few requests to build a raft trap from a previous video that some subscribers had seen. So here we go. I'm going to start by dropping a raft into the water. And yes, I'm on extinction. I've put down one stone foundation to the second hole, drop a wooden pillar in there, and the stone foundation should drop on or lower onto the raft. So it looks a little better and they're not hanging out on top. I'm going to fill these in. Let's see. I'm going to go to options on the raft and hide sail. All right. I'm going to head over to the other side of the raft and in the middle will be the first one. That'll drop in. Put another one up in front. One in the back there coming along quite nicely. Uh, instead of a trap door, I'm going to add a foundation there. I'm going to demolish the wood pillar and carefully demolish the fence foundation. Make sure you're not accidentally deleting the raft at that point. And I'm going to fill it in with the final and ninth stone foundation. All right, foundations lowered. And that's what it's going to look like at that point. Alright, I'm going to drive this thing out into a little bit of deeper water. Yes, I'm on extinction. It seems to be working here. I don't know if the pillars work here. Players have been reporting different problems on different maps with getting the foundations to lower. But it seems like using the stone fence foundation is the way to go nowadays. The pillars might be glitched. All right. I'm going to put thatch ceilings on the back. From a foundation, ceilings will extend two out. I'm going to drop that in. I'm going to add layer number two. All right, I got six in so far, and let me take care of that thing. All right, make sure I don't get attacked by anything while I'm jumping in the water. I'm going to grab these stone foundations and add them to the bottom of the thatched ceilings. This could be a little tricky. Take your time doing it so you're not destroying previously laid down foundations. Kind of like I did just there. All right, I'm going to be a little more careful about that. There we go. One, two, three. Try to do the same thing on this second layer of thatch ceilings. Make sure I get that in the right spot. Okay, there it is. And I'm going to add a ramp here on the second block. There it is, because that's where the door entry is going to be on the second layer. Add another ramp on the other side. Okay, and I'm going to add some more thatched ceilings. Since we have the foundation down, they will go out another two. And that'll be about the limit we want to reach. All right, I'm going to jump back in and add the final three stone foundations. Take your time so that you don't destroy the other ones. All right, there we go. Now we have lowered foundations and the back of the boat is extended an extra three stone foundations. Get back on top and destroy all the thatched ceilings and again be very careful you're not destroying the stone foundations by accident. And the final one. Cool, those will disappear. The stone foundations will stay. 
and you can still grab the rudder and drive this thing around. I'm going to pull a little closer to shore so I can work on it. And we will carry on with the build. There you go. All the thatch ceilings have disappeared. Alright, I'm going to start at the front. I'm going to grab a sloped ceiling or a sloped wall. Put one on the left. Put one on the right. I'm going to add a door frame right where the ramp is set up. Do the exact same thing on the other side. I'm going to put another sloped wall. On either side above the door frame and next to that I'm going to put down a stone wall add another one on top of that do the exact same thing on the other side stone wall add one on top of that and pull out the sloped walls, add a third, and another one on top of the right side, all right, the beginning of our ramp is in, I'm going to put a door frame, be very careful here, it could be a little bouncy, make sure you have the wood facing you, so that way you'll know it's on the correct foundation, do the same thing, I'm going to put a wall here, to protect the rudder and another door frame all right next I'm going to move in with the sloped ceilings I'm going to add nine of those This is where we will be running the creatures up and into the trap, which is be on the back half of this boat. Carefully place these down. All right, that's six of them. Three more to go. Don't be afraid to take your time to make sure you get the, all these pieces in correctly. All right, there we go. That's gonna be the inside of the cabin. That's what it's gonna look like in the front. And we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we add some ramps. I'm gonna use wooden ramps because sometimes they get destroyed they're easily replaceable with materials you can use anything else if you'd like any other materials and there we go creatures that will chase you down will easily run up the ramp and fall into the trap which will be in back All right, I'm gonna grab some doors add those to the cabin Make sure that nothing comes running in here when we're not expecting it. I'm going to put doors in there for protection. All right. Uh, then for the center section above the rudder, I'm going to add two more walls above it. This is going three walls high. And it's up to you to choose here. You can put the door frames if you want. I'm going to stick with the walls. And on top of that, I will put the door frame. That could be useful if you catch an RG in here. We'll get to that point at the end. This is good for Rexes, RGs, anything that you can get running up the ramp or caught in the trap itself. All right, 
Doors will swing open either way. And that's what it looks like. All right, let's start working on the back of the raft trap. I'm gonna grab a bunch of the door frames and just start stacking them three high. Off the back end of the boat. This could be your escape route if something chases you in or it's also a good place to have a space for tranking the creatures that are trapped in here. With either your trank arrows or tranquilizers. Okay, I'm going three high on that. All right, and on the last foundation, I'm gonna add more door frames, keeping it open so you can have a clear shot with your tranquilizers. I'm gonna add the final two pieces to make it three high. On either side, only on the final layer of foundations. All right, that part is done. That's what it's going to look like. Next, I'm going to add the dinosaur gateway. This will be, pay attention here how you want to do this. One door will open out, one door will open in, and standing on the inside of the boat, try to get it as straight as possible. It's not going to click into place, so take your time. You can always pick it up if you don't like its positioning. Make sure you have space for the actual door to our right so you can enter and exit. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna exit the boat and I'm gonna lay the second stone gateway. You wanna do this on the outside because that way the door will open in the opposite direction than the other one. The boat may be moving, will be moving. So take your time, line it up, straighten it out. All right, I'm gonna click that into place. Doesn't look like there's too much of a gap there, so that looks decent. Let me take a look at the by the entrance. All right, that covered too much of the door for my liking. So I'm going to pick up the stone gate frame. And try it again. This part's a little tricky. Take your time. Center it up as much as possible. All right, that looks decent. All right, I'm going to add the doors. Again, standing on the inside of the boat, I'm going to lay the first door in, then I'm going to exit backwards and lay the second door in. That way, again, each one will open in a different direction. Well, let me move Bob over here. Somehow he got in the way. Keeping me covered with the turrets. All right, so there it is. You can use a pteranodon or any flyer that you have. Have something chase you. It'll run up the ramp and fall in. That door opens outward. This door should open inwards. Perfect, that's exactly how we need it. O having the door open inwards will be great because if you can get it an RG in there, you'll be able to lock them in. All right, let's uh, let's add the final pieces here. Just leave it open if you're going to catch a Rex and have it chase you down. But if you want to turn this into a flyer or RG trap, we're going to do something a little bit different. You always have the back as an escape hatch, so if something chases you in, you guys are both in the trap together you can get out but the creature won't be able to and I'm gonna use wooden ceilings because the materials are a little less expensive and if you want it this step this step is strictly if you want to catch flyers more specifically argies you can trap them in here also just by laying wooden ceilings down 
going to add nine of those. This is still three tall from the floor of the raft. This one might be a little glitchy, but it doesn't matter as long as it catches in there. There we go. All right. And if you want to catch uh, the RG, that's why we have this door opening inside. You can get it to chase you in here or you can trank it. It'll fly in towards you. It'll be trapped in the walls and the ceiling. You can scoot through that door, run around, close this one without taking damage, hopefully, if you're quick enough. And the bird will be trapped in here. And you can just trank the RG. Now if you're going for Rexes or other dinos, then do not put the ceilings up there. And as a side note, if you're going to catch a Rex, they will not fit through the gates or gateways, so you'll have to destroy that and get them off the boat. But the materials aren't too much to replace the gateway. All right, that is going to be the trapping raft. Just make sure if you're on the island and you're out in the ocean cruising around in this thing, it's not going to be lead safe or whale safe. So be careful with that. That's what it looks like from the outside. You have definitely have some pieces left over. You can put a bed on there, maybe a storage unit or any other items you want to decorate the inside of the cabin. If you want if you already have a pteranodon, you can just have a dinosaur aggro on you, fly up the ramp, sit at the top of the ramp, and as it runs towards you, fly away towards the back of the boat, and whatever dino is aggroed on you should fall into the trap. All right, I'm going to leave this here in case the tribe mates want to use it. And that is going to be the ultimate raft trap build guide. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you in the next video. I want you to have a great day and be safe out there. Bye-bye.